Greetings, fellow conspirators. Muttersville here. And we are back with Zisto's Globule number two. And we're out here in the rain looking for spiders on this globule that I have not lit up on. So we've got Endermen and Skeletons. And Zombies. Handled with pro skills. <laughs> not really. Not at all, actually. But it looks like we have a miniature zombie apocalypse coming. Great. Alright, take you guys out. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. I gave it from behind. Sneaky. Yep. Okay. Uh, things are getting a little out of hand. Let's be the hasty retreat. Just put a torch there. Cooper. Run, 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 run. There's a spider. Sorry, we don't have time to kill you. Ouch. Oh, skellies. Ow. Ow. Gosh. That's bad. Jump in the water. Geronimo! Are they following? Okay. Um, yes, they are following. They're shooting as well. Ah! Man. To block or not to block? That is the question. Obviously, the answer is to block. Let's get this ender pearl. Let's try not to die. Go, 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 go. Just put a torch there. Go, go. Run, run, run. The end is in sight. I lit this part up slightly better because I knew it'd be around here a lot, so that's good. Close door. Alright. Ooh, wow. Lost some armor there. Yeah, we need a new helmet. Hmm. Okay, let's uh, put this ender pearl. Hang on. Uh, what am I doing? Yeah, let's cook these. No. No, let's not. What am I doing? Think, think, think. We're recording, guy. Come on. Okay, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Well, um, I'm trying to make another bed for mobility's purposes. But we're going to need more swords. In order to get the spiders to kill the... Kill the spiders to get the wool. Is that everything you want to do to Alright, looks safe out here. <laughs> Not really. Um, sadly, I don't see any spiders. There's pretty much... Oh, there's one over there. Can, okay. Bye, guy. Boom, boom. Got you. Oh. Ah! Hi. Hi, how are you? Oh, well. Zombie. Okay. Um... Get out our other sword. Oh, and there's an enderman too. Okay. Alright, never mind. It is not safe. We should retreat. Oh, maybe the enderman sound. Must have looked at it. Oh, you hit me through the door, you jerk. Die. Oh, it needs to. Haha. Uh -huh. Good morning. Alright, um. Tell you what. That's what I wanted to do, put the interpearl in there for safety. Ooh, the other guy just died. Hello, sir, can I have your insides? Or whatever the interpearl is? I'm not really sure what that is. But, like, is it... Where did... Where, <laughs> why did the Enderman drop interpearls? It's like some, like, internal organ or something? Ooh, more slimes. I can use your insides for brewing and making contraptions. Cool. Alright, got him. Now, where did that Enderman die? Um, uh, he might not have... Oh, never mind, he did drop an Enderman. Awesome. Cool, so that's two to add to our collection of two. So let's take another look out here. We want spiders. That's what we want, because we need, uh, let me see, we have... Three string right now, so we need another four, so we need seven. No. We need five. Yeah, five. Sorry. Bad math. I did fast math. My fast math's not accurate. Hey guys, going to come take me on in the water? Hi. Sun is coming up soon. Got you. You dropped a lot of string. There's one more guy over there, so... 
You did not drop string. Shame on you. That makes you a bad spider. Alright, awesome. Got that. Oh, let's ignore the zombie for now. Okay, he doesn't want to ignore us. There you go. Hi, guy. Come fight me in the water. Yes. Yes, it'll be fun. There we go. Alright. There. That looks like enough. Because we already had made one wool, so eight will make two more, so we are good. Okay, this was a pretty successful night. I'm happy with this. We just needed enough to make another bed because I don't want to break my one bed in case uh, I die and need to set my spawn. But I want another one for passing the night so that I don't get swarmed by mobs. So there we go. Three more wool. And... Bed. Hooray! Awesome. Now what are we doing? Ooh, that's a lot of zombies out there. And it's still raining. Alright guys. Back here on the dirt globule, and we are. Well, we are. Uh, already bred them up, so we're just slaughtering them. What we need is enough leather to make another helmet and. Uh, boots, I think. That was the next thing that's about to break, so. Sadly, nobody seems to be dropping any leather. We have two on us. No leather for me either. Shame. Shame on you. But I'll take that. That's four. That's enough for boots, so we need five more. That's six. So we need three more. Seven. We need two more. <laughs> Math with Veil. Learning subtraction. That's still seven. Eight. One more. Come on, guys. I'll take it from either one of you. There we go. Ten. Close enough. We thinned out the herd quite considerably there. Uh, we might need to breed them up. Actually, let's go do that now. While well, we're thinking about it, because I don't want to deplete our stock of precious mushrooms. So here's all of our accumulated bones. Turn them into bone meal. Looks like we won't be getting any dogs as pets. Oh well. I don't even know if there are dogs in this map. Or wolves, rather. I think there should be though, because um, I think Zisto included one of every mob type or a way to get every type of mob. So there's probably an island with some spawn wolf eggs on it. Should be an island with spawn everything eggs, if not a spawner of that type. And a bone meal. Almost done. And good. Wow, that was almost the perfect amount of bone meal. Let's clear out some inventory space and get harvested. Oops, guess I didn't get that piece. There we go. Got you. Wow, that is a lot of seeds and wheat. Alright, let's see here. We'll put the seeds on our bar. Very good, very nice. Replant our field so that it can grow while we're away. Or here, alternatively. Awesome. There we go. Got all of our spares that dropped in the water. And let's head down. Hi guys, I am back. Don't worry. Time to breed yet? Sure looks like it. Awesome. Yes, yes, that's right. No, 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 I'm, I'm sure. You take the lead. No, really. It's okay. I won't mind. There we go. Yeah. Yes, make lots of little mushroom babies. Come on, one more. There we go. Alright, let's get out of here. No, no, you don't come with me. No, 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 stop. Stay, stay back, stay back. I should take this out of my hand. Stay back, stay back. Back, back, back. In. Okay. Yeah, that was a mistake. Okay. Guess we just have two guys out here. And if they leave, then we'll kill them. Just sort of backwards, but. Alright. Let's see. 
That's it. I will see you guys in a bit. Hey guys, we're going to head over there to that obsidian looking island. Uh, my bet is that's going to be the nether portal. So we're just going to fill her up, bridge across. You know the drill, pretty much the same thing we've been doing. Uh, and like all the other videos, I'm probably going to fast forward through this because it would probably get pretty boring me just talking at you. So we'll commence that now. Alright guys, we are done with the bridge, uh, pretty standard stuff. As you can see, we've got some zombie pigmen here. Some z easter eggs, <laughs> as it were. I think the lava's going to do a pretty good job lighting this up. But just in case, we should put down some torches. Just for completionist's sake. So, I've been... The, the reason for uh, this journeys to the nether is because we're looking for iron <laughs> and uh, I'm not quite sure where Zisto's hidden it um, and I think it would be just like him to have a like a complete almost unlimited access to diamonds but only give you stone tools and have iron hidden somewhere um, <laughs> that, they, that, that, that would be kind of not mean but uh, frustrating uh, but it'd be a good math maker trick so he might have hidden it in the nether, I don't know. So we're going to go check it out, that is why we're doing this. Uh, not because I think we're ready for the nether or anything. And actually, speaking of map maker tricks, he might have put something on the other side, so... Lock. I heard that ghast. Alright, render in things. Got another fortress over there, is what it looks like. Got some fire on this globule, which I don't like. I think there's only supposed to be four in the nether, four globules, so... Uh, so that looks like... So that's going to be two of them, the fortress and the one that we spawned on, because it counts. Four new rules. Let's get these fires taken care of, because I don't want to get knocked into them. Alright. So over here we have a, looks like, glowstone and it might be soul sand globule. Looks interesting. And that looks like nether, like just regular nether generation. And I hear the ghasts, too. So we've got that fortress. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like any of this stuff is going to have iron in it, which is what we were really looking for. So, back to the overworld. Oh, come on, guy. Okay, wow, that is a lot of zombie big one. <laughs> okay. Uh, guess they all spawned in and we were in another. This baby. Oh, whoa, whoa. Are you mad? You're not mad, bro. Yeah, that's right, you stay away. Alright, so, uh, search for iron continues. Um, I'm not really sure where to go next. Although, actually, that island, is that, 
Is that hollow or is that just shadow? I'm wondering it. Okay, it's just shadow, it looks like. Um, that might be a good place to start. Uh, maybe the iron's in there. I don't really know. But I'll probably have to end up bridging to it anyway, so might as well get this done with. And like all the other times, I'm just going to fast forward through this, make it less boring for you, more boring for me. Alright guys, I uh, did a little cut there, um, just came to get some wood and some stone, it ran out in the middle of the bridging process, I hate doing that, usually I plan to uh, be able to have all the resources ready when I'm bridging, but that was sort of an impromptu bridge over to the island, so we slept through the night, making a couple more picks, got all of our resources ready. Um, I think that's going to be everything we need. Should be anyway. If it's not, then well, I don't know what's wrong. So we need a shovel too, just to be a completionist. Okay, slabs, charcoal, torches, lots of torches. That should last for a little while. And we'll need some planks. We'll need some sticks. We'll need tons of ladders, because that island is really far up in the air. Um, we'll see if 37 works, but it'll probably be more, more blocks than that. So, since we still don't have the iron for a water drop, we're going to have to... Alright guys, did a little cut there. Just wanted to show you this. I uh, made a quick um, way through the dirt globule instead of going all the way up and back. Just to... I don't know. <laughs> Just to be slightly more time efficient. So we haven't been making houses, um, like on the obsidian globule. We probably won't make one on this one, unless it's something really special. Um, because, frankly, I have too many uh, bases, so many chests and stuff. I mean, it's convenient to have crafting benches and stoves wherever you go. Sla stoves slightly less. But, um, you just you never know where it's like okay I had a stack of charcoal where to go oh it's in the base all the way across over there and it is getting uh, to be a pretty long journey trekking from one end of this place to the other uh, up and down all these ladders across bridges so this that's why I'm doing the cutting because I don't want to show all this running across the bridges but yeah here we are let's light this up that looks good. So we'll probably finish up the bridging process here, and then we'll explore this island.
Oh my gosh. Is that what I think it is? It sure looks like something that does not start with an I. Oh my gosh, more diamonds. Oh. This is the only time in the history of ever that anyone's complained about finding diamonds instead of iron. Ah. <sighs> well, that was quite a lot of bridging and pillaring and laddering and death defying wing walking stunts for nothing. Well, not for nothing. Look on the bright side. We'll have to come back here anyway, so. At least we got this part out of the way. So, we'll leave these two globules behind, and we will go find somewhere else to spend our hard earned money. <laughs> not, I don't know what that is. I'm just. Ah, okay. Um, let's see. I guess we'll leave all this stuff here. Well, we should take the bed at least. Yeah. Just in case. For mobility, right? We'll leave that crafting bench, because crafting benches are useful. And I think hmm, maybe maybe the iron is sort of a uh, I remember in one of his videos about globule number three, he was talking about how iron is sort of like a tier two resource, I believe. So maybe it'll be closer to the dirt globule level. Oh gosh, come on, let me in, let me in. Jeez, thank you. Rather than far away. So, I think we'll try going off in the direction of the three-tiered tier, three -tiered island. Jeez, three-tiered island now. Um, or maybe the desert one, I don't know. We'll see which one looks funnier. Or more potential to have iron on it. <laughs> That's really our main goal at this point. I'm not frustrated, I'm just... Uh, Frustrated. <laughs> yeah, okay. Alright. Get your head together. What are we doing? We are bridging. And let's go over here. This should be a pretty short one, so I think I'll just uh, talk to you guys. I'll fast forward it if I run out of things to say, but I don't think I will. So let's let's see, let's get some oak wood up in the house. There we go. And start off with a single singular point. Huzzah! And here we go. So I want to talk a little bit about the map. Um, I don't find it to be too grindy. Like, I don't find myself constantly needing resources like leather or wheat or stone or wood. Um, I do, I do def definitely need those things. And sometimes I do spend like 10 or 20 minutes collecting them, but it's not like a, something I have to sit for, you know, hours and collect these resources or sit in an XP grinder or something like that. Um, so that part's good. But the the bridging part is a little tedious. Uh, he, he mentioned this in several of his Devious Devices videos that um, some people might find the bridging in Globule number 2 tedious. And I'm starting to find that tedious. Um, it's not, but it's not just the length of the bridges. It's the, that combined with, let's, let's take a look over here before I finish talking. Wow, that's a lot of mobs in the shadows. Hmm, okay, I think we're going to stay up here in the trees to be safe. Hmm, I guess we'll check these glob, these uh, globules, I don't know. Um, something. I guess this entire thing is a globule, but it's so the three tiers. I don't know. Yeah, that's a lot of mobs. I don't think we can take this place on until we get iron armor. So if this is where the iron is, then we are in a very bad situation. But see, that that leads me into my second point. The bridging is tedious because you don't really know where you're going. Um, I'll, you know, I'll finish this later, um, and we'll talk later, but for now, that's been enough bridging for one episode. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed, and oh, look at that guy <laughs> spinning in the waterfall, it's funny. Um, I, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video, where we will find iron, for sure.